I got out of a like four and a half year relationship of hell. So I don't know. Normally he is. I mean, I don't know. They made me feel better. I mean, would you walk away from this? I mean, sure, yeah, I'm a little crazy, but like, I mean, that's what I always tell my girlfriends. You can't have the best of the world. You either get crazy in the head, crazy in the bed, or none at all. And you just have to figure out what level of crazy you're willing to put up with as a guy, what level of crazy you're willing to put up with a chick, depending on how crazy she is in the bed. Simple as that. So, oh, I also wanted to add, just for like, you know, people watching the video on like Facebook and stuff, that people can, while I'm broadcasting, people can send me comments. So when I'm answering questions or just saying shit out of nowhere, it's because um, I'm answering questions. So I guess what I should start doing is actually saying what people are asking me, so I don't just sound like a lunatic um, talking to myself. Thank you. Thank you. Holderin. So yeah, my ex is a piece of shit, and he said some terrible, terrible things to me. And <laughs> the sad part is he's so stupid. Like, he, like I am by far, and I'm not saying this because I'm like trying to be conceited because. I don't think I'm ugly, but I, I mean, there's definitely way hotter bitches out there than me, you know? So I don't think I'm all that, but I can guarantee you from every chick I've ever seen that he dated or hooked up with or his ex-girlfriend or whatever in the past, um, blow that bitch out of the water, every single one of them. I'm like, he can't handle dating a hot bitch, and some guys can't, some guys can't handle it. They, they think they want it, then you get us, and we're fucking a lot, you know, we're, we're a lot to handle sometimes, and then they, they can't handle it. Your ex must have decided to come out of the closet. Okay, honestly, I'm not just saying that because I'm heartbroken and hurting shit, but like, I think he's a fag. Because, tell me this. Okay, answer me this question. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He treated me like shit and he didn't appreciate me anyways. Why, well, thank you. Um, but check this out. So, my ex has this friend that's with 24 7. He like, blows me off to go hang out with this with said friend or whatever now would you do that like honest to god would you really go and like you would prefer to hang out with a guy who you say who behind his back you say that guy's a fag that guy's gay whatever Which, if you're gay nothing wrong with that that's great whatever in fact if you're gay i would love for you to go and try to fuck my ex-boyfriend so that you could just confirm or deny the allegations so i love you guys but He's the one that called him, you know, he's gay, blah, 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 his friend. He calls his friend gay all the time. Yet, he turns down spending time with me, or he did. He doesn't have a chance anymore. He cut that little opportunity off. Um, he, he, he doesn't ever get this. He doesn't get this anymore. But, he, um, he will turn down spending time with me to go hang out with this guy who he says is gay. And he stays the night with him. Or that guy stays the night over at his house all the time. I mean, is it just me? I was like, dude, it's okay, buddy. You're gay. Just admit it. There's the, I go, oh, come on. It, it's, it's like 2015. It's okay to be gay. Nobody cares if people are gay. Like, just, but just don't try to not be gay. Like, just for what? Who? Like, be gay if you're gay. Team America. They said Team America. Like, why... Why would you prefer to go hang out with your gay friend rather than and spend all your time with him as opposed to hanging out and like having sex with your girlfriend? I don't know. That I mean, I don't know what that means. Everyone commenting is saying that they that he either decided to come out of the closet or that he their Team America, which I appreciate that. Go Team America! I don't know. Ugh, oh, sit, I'm hogging. 
turn the AC back on. What kind of hair? It's like so light that it looks like I have no hair at the bottom. So look, I have hair. I think. Oh, looks like crap right now. It just started raining. Are, are any of you people in California now? If any of you are in like Orange County, LA, like, is it raining where you're at? Because it just started pouring. Oh, the worst part of my broadcast is saying goodbye. That's what Tebow895 says. Thank you, sweetheart. But I'll be back. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get bored in a minute. And at least you guys will talk to me. Um, anybody have any final thoughts you want to add? going once. Oh, well, I guess I should. Okay, so people who are tuning in on Facebook, people write you comments, but like, they, they don't, you don't see the video or, or you don't see them, you just see their, their username, and then they have to actually like type in the comment and send it in. I love you guys too. You need a couple more drinks and then come back on here. Why? Nothing's gonna change. Ooh, can I show you one thing real quick? I showed it on my last broadcast, but for those of you that miss it, look at my new sticks. They're pink and black. Aren't these fucking so awesome? My friend uh, Matt Stanley and Marlon, who's awesome. Oh, actually, I think Marlon's the one that got them. I think Matt has some input on, um, no which ones he should get me. But these are so me. These are my colors right here. Pink and black. Tell me. Tell me. Are they me? What do you Team Erica. They said Team Erica and that they love me. I love you guys too. Team Erica. You know what? There's really not a team because my ex is such a fucking fuck up loser who's so stupid that he doesn't even have a team. Nobody's on his team. He's a dumbass. So it's just team logic. Alright guys.